Alright, hello everyone. We are getting set up here for a Season 7 Cup game. This is going... whoops. Wrong window. Uh, this is going to be Evan Gibbs, Phoenix Automoto, versus Za playing Scorpion. Let me bring up these, whoops, deck lists. <laughs> Joe trying to decide who to cheer for, it looks like. I have to cheer for Scorpion in this matchup because Scorpion kind of has a special place for me. more than Phoenix at least um, ooh and I just remembered that we are gonna see some new cards here <laughs> Boo Scorpion says steal for um, let's see here we go so potentially we could see some mazes in this game which I'm hoping for. Um, it looks like we see a naive student, young rumor monger, and a manipulator get bought. Oh man, Phoenix is on Dragon Splash, so no mazes for him, unfortunately. Um, let's see about Scorpion. Scorpion has one maze. We did it. One maze, one I can swim. Um. Scorpion is splashing Phoenix for Consumed by Five Fires, one of those, and two Clarity of Purpose, and ooh, two Seeker of Knowledge also, that's interesting. Um, <clears throat> Scorpion players, I have been hearing that some of them have been on the Phoenix splash for that Consumed by Five Fires, since they have so much fate, they can just play that and wipe their opponent's whole board, basically. Um, Naive Student's going to find Meditations, which is actually the best province for him to find right now, since he has no fate on that character. Um, let's see. So yeah, the other three were Secret Cache, Pilgrimage, and Shameful Display, which would have all been pretty bad, so that's a pretty lucky find. Looks like the Phoenix Splash is three Let Go, two Tattooed Wonder, one Jade Masterpiece. Uh, Scorpion's going to win that ring on the defense. How did he win? Used a Force Shame, that's how. Okay. So now he should be able to get a free attack here. Uh, we do see a Shrine Maiden get played though. Discards a fan and a let go. Does manage to pull an Embrace the Void with that. So he gets at least one card. Um, it looks like... Hmm. So we had a past conflict from Scorpion. Phoenix is going to actually go for a face down province and finds shameful display. Um, not 100% sure why he didn't just go into meditations, uh, but the honor is probably not going to matter too much since Scorpion would just steal it back with the box anyway, so I guess that's not terrible. It will give. Scorpion a Seeker Fate there. And I think personally I might have wanted to move the honor to the Manipulator since he had one Fate on him. Um, not 100% sure why he didn't do that. Uh, he would have 9 honor. I guess that would have made the honors tied at 10 after the box instead of 11 to 10. But then you're gaining the honor. I don't know, I'm not sure. Um, he used his... did he use his stronghold?
I think he might have forgotten to use his stronghold there. Not 100% sure. But I didn't see it bowed, so might have been a mistake. Um, he can still use it this turn, so not too bad. Ooh, there's one of the new cards here. Uh, Soshi Shadow Shaper. Man, a lot of these Scorpion cards feel like tongue twisters. Um, during the conflict phase, lose one honor. Choose a character with printed cost two or lower that has entered play from the player's hand this phase. Return that character to its owner's hand. So... I don't think that card is particularly good in this matchup. Um, the only characters you can really hit are Shrine Maidens, potentially a Tattooed Wanderer, but both of those characters you don't really want to send back to his hand anyway, so I think we'll probably just see him discard this. Um, he could use it on a character that he plays from his own hand, which would have to be a Goblin Sneak a meek informant or a seeker of knowledge so with a meek informant that could actually be pretty good uh... we see master of gise toshi get bought with four fate i'm um, guessing he's probably going to put embrace the void on either that or the shoju here i think i think it's actually correct mm. yeah I, I feel like it's correct to put embrace the void on the shoju um, just in case there's a calling in favors. Oh wait. Calling in favors works on attachments on your own characters. I mean either way you would have to dishonor showed you. I guess it doesn't matter too much. Uh, Scorpion's gonna bid six and then he's gonna steal an honor. So Phoenix has a slight fate lead here. Hasn't had a chance to play that Uona yet. Maybe he doesn't have any air cards in his hand. Uh, the air cards he is running are one Benton's Touch, three Cloud the Mind, obviously. I think that's actually it. So yeah. Um, there's a Finger of Jade on the Master of Gise Toshi, um, and he used her ability on the Fire Ring. We do see a Calling in Favors, it's going to steal that Finger of Jade. I wonder what the Finger of Jade was trying to prevent, probably a fate worse than death. Although with this Calling in Favors, the Scorpion will now have to attack a ring with fate on it to be able to play that. If he has a clarity, a clarity of purpose in hand, playing it on Shoju could be pretty good. Finds Manicured Garden, contesting the Fire Ring. So fortunately for Phoenix, I Can Swim is currently not turned on. So he can just not defend this. Ooh, and we do see a clarity of purpose. So this shoju is going to potentially be pretty scary now. Um, if he dishonors this master of Gisei Toshi, he would only be one off of killing it with shoju's ability. Not sure what else he could do though. Yeah, I don't think there's any way to get her skill down another point. So in that case, you probably just honor showed you. We see a pass. Uh, there could be a display of power here. Yeah, he does have display of power. Pretty good. That's going to dishonor Shoju. That makes sense. Um, I think honoring Master would have been fine as well, but dishonoring Shoju is probably better. 
Uh, we see a goblin sneak get played. I think at this point you should play the... Well, I guess you don't have to play it yet. At some point before the Fate Phase, I would definitely want to play Embrace the Void on one of these characters, since we know he has it. Um, let's see, it's going to be a, uh, a little bit tough for Phoenix to attack here. I mean, I guess... You could attack Meditation, since your character has so much Fate. But that doesn't seem ideal. I guess that's where you would have to attack if you did attack. Um, we'll see if he does a... Yeah, it looks like he's going Void here. Interesting. Ooh, attacking another face down province. And finds Pilgrimage. Um... So that's fine. He got the fade off the ring. Even if Pilgrimage cancels it, it's not really going to be a big deal, I think. Yeah, um, I am a bit worried for Phoenix here. Um, we see Shoju defend. And there's a, ooh, clarity of purpose, but it gets censured. Unfortunate. And since Shoju already took that firing that he used Master's ability on, too soon to worry. Um, it might be too soon to worry. There's still, so the military conflict here, uh, he's going to play Clarity of Purpose again with his stronghold. So he will be able to defend this military conflict now, which is pretty important. Um, so yeah, I think this is not terrible for Phoenix here. Shoju is going to be dishonored still going into next turn. Um... If Scorpion has a bonsai, he could potentially break here. What you probably want him to find is... Let's see. Meditations would be fine if he sends the Goblin Sneak. Um, shameful would, shameful would be scary because you don't want that to break. That was a one-time censure from Scorpion. And Forged Edict is turned off here because both of his courtiers are dishonored. So, he won't have to worry about cancels. Ooh, finds Public Forum. Uh, Public Forum, unfortunately, not a particularly useful province. It's going to slow Scorpion down, but it's very farmable. This air ring, though, is not too worrying, I think. Um, I, th I think you just have to defend this. No reason not to defend it, since he has the manipulator standing still. The air ring... I think I think you're fine with him taking the airing. Um it did have a fate on it, but I'd rather let him have air than earth here. Ooh, we see no defense. 
Another display of power, maybe? I think this would be kind of a waste if he displays this. Ooh, there's another goblin sneak. Um, so that's gonna... I mean, it's gonna take away the potential display of power, but I think you don't really care. You also don't care too much if this breaks. Breaks in quotation marks. Uh, Shrine Maiden gets played to prevent that, though. Ooh, that is unfortunate. Jade Masterpiece, Court Games, and Bonsai. Not finding any spells there. Yeah, those those Shrine Maidens happen sometimes. <laughs> yeah. Uh, we see a bonsai on the goblin sneak. I think you're fine with that. Feels kind of like a waste of a bonsai, because this isn't even really breaking. Um, Luona has an interesting stat line. Two dash on a Shugenja. Still wondering if we'll see her played this game. Um, we haven't seen him play any of his air cards yet. He only has four, so it's possible he just hasn't seen any of them. I'm still not really sure why he left the Master of Gise Toshi at home. We do see the Embrace the Void. I guess it doesn't really matter too much, but, like, he he wasn't going to get favor anyway. So I would have just defended her. You could have even saved the Shrine Maiden that way. Oh, he's going to use his second attack. I forgot he had another attack left. Never mind. Forget, forget what I just said. And he did pull out the Bonsai there. So it might be tough for Scorpion to win this. He only has one fate. Um, he could have a for shame. Yeah, he does have a for shame. And that's just going to be a bow there. So, yeah, you just pass now. That's, honestly, that's fine. Um, the Meditations is unfortunate. I think it was actually correct to play Medi uh, Embrace the Void on... Ooh, Against the Waves. Oh! <laughs> that's, that's pretty tricky, actually. So he played Embrace the Void, and then when Meditations got used, he took that fate back and used it to play Against the Waves. That's kind of funny. Um, it is not going to matter, though, because it turns out Scorpion does have the second Bonsai, which is very unfortunate for Phoenix. Um, I think that was actually, like, the one card he could have had to win this conflict, other than, like, another for shame. Uh, we see a Benton's Touch, though, that's going to honor this master. I guess that's fair. You weren't going to win the conflict and she was going to get bad anyway, so you might as well do that. Um, Scorpion will keep the favor. I'm interested to see if he keeps this uh, Soshi Shadow Shaper around.
We see an Adept of the Waves and a Mia Mystic, so a lot of cheap characters for Phoenix. He kept the Shadow Shaper. Also finds a Miyako and a Fawning Diplomat. Um, Phoenix is first player here. I might just play all of my characters here, except for the Mia Mystic, yeah. I think all three of these with no fate is probably the right play. You might put a fate on Uona, I'm not sure. Nice, we see the Shadow Shaper get played. Um, and Uona did not get bought, he chose to take the passing fate instead. Uh, that's fair, I think. Although he is in a pretty bad spot board wise. Um, we're going to see both players drawing a lot of cards as usual. There is a Finger of Jade. Still worried about the fate worse than death, I imagine. Um, although there could be another calling in favors, but again, that would disable fate worse than death anyway. Ah, uh, ooh, okay. We have a Cloud the Mind on the Master of Gisei Toshi. and a let go to discard Cloud of the Mind. So this master ability is seems like it's going to be pretty important here. Um, yeah, so he's going to do that on the water ring. And then I guess do a covert Hmm. She has a finger of jade, though. So I'm not sure why you needed to use her ability, but we'll see. Hi, Nightcrawlers. How's it going? I'm interested to see what this Shadow Shaper ends up doing. Um, we could see him play like a Meek Informant and use it in a conflict and then return it to his hand. That would be pretty strong, I think. Hmm. So it looks like he's going to try to potentially break Pilgrimage. We do see a defense. We'll see if he has a, a supernatural storm would be potentially plus four if he uses a stronghold. We see an ornate fan that works also. Um, any non-spell events cannot be played. Oh yeah, the yeah I forgot to change the stream title again, didn't I? Whoops. I was remembering that for a while, but then I started forgetting again. Uh, 
Uh, we see a Seeker of Knowledge played into the conflict, and then there's a Supernatural Storm. So he's still probably going to break this, it seems like. Yep, there's the break. Watering is going to bow the manipulate. Ooh, discards the Imperial Palace off of that. Nice. Um, it might not end up mattering, but we'll see. Yeah, that's the Bayushi Manipulator. Oh, and did he play... He must have played a... Yeah, he played a Clarity of Purpose. I missed that. So the Master is actually not going to bow, which is pretty big. Looks like we are now seeing a military conflict with the two goblins going at the public forum. This is firing. Probably going to try and re-honor Soju, or uh, Shoju if I had to guess. Shoju is such a... what is that, house? Um, Master of Gisei Toshi defends, and he gives her a fine katana. Ooh, there's a calling in favors on the Goblin Sneak. Scorpion is now out of fate. So we might see Phoenix leave this naive student standing this turn and just grab the favor. If uh, if he has enough glory, that is. And then I hope he finds Kanjo next turn. Looks like he's still thinking here. There are two more katanas in his deck, so he could potentially drop this ornate fan and play... Oh, never mind, there's a way of the scorpion. Uh, that is enough to be breaking. He could have used Finger of Jade, but he's going to save that for potentially a fate worse than death or something else. Way of the Scorpion, not really the best thing to spend that on. I like the art that they did for the way ofs. There's a Shrine Maiden. maiden? Uh, oh, that's a pretty good Shrine Maiden. Making up for the bad one earlier finds a Karmic Twist and a Supernatural Storm. Karmic Twist probably won't do much right now, but the Storm definitely is useful. Uh, and we're going to see a pass. So, no break, but he will honor Shoju. So yeah, there's one military conflict left for Evan here. Um, he could go with this Adept at the Meditations. 
I think that's probably the correct play. Ooh, there's an against the waves to ready the Master of Gisei Toshi. That's pretty strong. That means she's going to be able to defend this political attack coming in. Uh, four, five, six skill. Only six skill to the seven plus two ability triggers. So, he'll have to probably defend with two characters and then storm the lower, lower skill character. Um, although that's risky with potential dishonors. Ooh, Tattooed Wanderer. Interesting. So he's going to covert this shouju. Yeah, that's so he can go at Shameful Display. Yeah, this is... So this is now a free attack on Shameful Display. Um, he won't be able to break it with two skill. But he can always play the Supernatural Storm that he just drew. Let's see. You probably have to go Void here. Definitely Void or Earth are the two options, but yeah, I think you do have to go Void. Um, you definitely don't want to get your Master Voided, because that hurts the Embrace the Void, and it means she'll have no fate next turn. And if you can Void off this Shadow Shaper, that'll keep Scorpion's board a little bit more in check. And yeah, he is going at that Shameful Display. Um, we see an assassination on that Adept of the Waves, and there's the Supernatural Storm. <laughs> I just noticed that when you play Supernatural Storm, it says, plays to imbue Master Gisei Toji with the supernatural power of the storm. That's, that's interesting. They added a, a little line for that. Um... That gets cancelled with a Forged Edict, so he's actually going to play his other Storm as well. Oh, and there's another Cancel, wow. All the Forged Edicts coming out here. So it looks like he's not going to be able to break Shameful Display. Uh, I think that's actually fine, and I think you're fine trading the Storms for the... Oh, he has another one! Three supernatural storms in one conflict, and one of them was already in the discard. So he is actually going to get the break on Shameful Display there. So yeah, I think that's pretty good for Phoenix there. Um, he's going to void this Shadow Shaper. Shadow Shaper. And then the other thing is, uh, we know that he has a Karmic Twist in hand. Yeah, two uses of Storm for two Forged Edicts is more than fine. That's Yeah, I, I definitely agree with that. Um, getting those two Forged Edicts out of there is pretty good. Um, we're not sure if he had the third one in hand or not. He is out of Courtiers here. Oh, wait, never mind. I didn't realize Seeker of Knowledge was a Courtier. So yeah, probably doesn't have the third one in hand. Uh, there's the Void Ring on the Shadow Shaper. This is where he should use that ability to return Seeker of Knowledge to his hand if he wants to. That will make him lose one honor. He would be down to three. He chose Earth Ring here instead of Air, which I think is correct. Uh, and no defense, I think that's also correct. We get a Clarity of Purpose discard. Unfortunate. And Phoenix will get the Imperial Favor, which is pretty good. So, finding Kanjo here would be pretty big, preferably on one of these unbroken prov provinces. Um, he is up... Wow, Scorpion has two honor. 
He used his stronghold that turn, right? I'm pretty sure he used it during draw phase. But yeah, that's definitely dangerous. Uh, yeah, he did use it right there. We see a Liar. Excellent card. Uh, no Conjure District, unfortunately, but there is a Prodigy and an Adept. Both of the waves. Two pretty good cards there. Sandy Bell in chat says, I'd go for the throat here. Yeah, you have this uh, Master of Gisetoshi who's pretty big. I definitely think I would want to buy both of these Shugenja here. Um, yeah, we see Prodigy 2 Fate. Scorpion might want to play Illusionist here, although that does risk giving the Passing Fate over. Uh, yeah, so he's just going to pass. I would probably play Adept, no Fate. No, he passes. Okay. Save for display of power. Yeah, that's fair. Saving fate for display of power is probably good. Um, yeah, yeah, keep two fate for display. Yeah, I mean, Scorpion being at two honor... Um, it looks scary for Scorpion, but at the same time, he has his stronghold to just keep on stealing honor. Ooh, and Phoenix is going to take this opportunity to equalize the hand size. Sandy Bell says, I would have played Adept and Mystic instead of Prodigy to enable an unopposed conflict. An unopposed conflict, two honor is dangerously low. But yeah, it looks like he's not going for the honor. He's just going to draw a bunch of cards and go for the breaks here. Adept is strong with Covert here. Yeah. I think keeping the fate for display power is definitely um, valid, though. Two in his deck, so a little over 50% chance that he has his other one in hand. Yeah, really he was at 3 honor, but now really he's at 5 honor because of the uh, the bid. Adept cannot be assassinated if he kept Scorpion at low honor. Yeah, that was true also. If he kept with the... if he went with the 1 bid. Uh, so Shoju's going to attack a face down province here. Um, trying to find Shameful Display, I guess. Or not, not, not necessarily trying to find it, but... If Shoji does find Shameful Display, he's already Dishonored, so that's not a huge loss. Uh, the other one is Meditations. And he does find Shameful Display. I think that's better for Phoenix here. I think you defend with the Prodigy to honor yourself. Probably. And then you win an Earth attack with the Master of Gisei, or not Earth, Water, with the Master of Gisei Toshi. I think that's the play. Scorpion with a ton of fate, though. So one thing Scorpion could potentially do here is a double fate worse than death. How many Finger of Jades has he seen? He has one in his discard. How many in his deck? Ooh, two in his deck. So that is the last finger of jade. Master block is greater than COP. Play around fate worse than death here unless you pack censure. Yeah, let's see if he has Censure. He does have one Censure in his deck. There's a Cloud the Mind on Shoju. So it looks like he is going to win this conflict on defense, probably. Master Block, then COP. What is COP? 
Clarity of purpose. Uh, we see a for shame to dishonor. Still winning on defense there. If he has the clarity of purpose, or not, well, I mean, he does have it in his discard pile, so he should, yeah, the only two left are in his discard pile. Um, he is going to play that now, it looks like. I don't think... You don't have to re-honor right away, do you? Yeah, he bid higher, so I can swim is not turned on here. Um, he is going to play that clarity of purpose. If clarity of purpose is active, for shame cannot take her out. Oh, I see what you're saying. Uh, so he plays a Seeker of Knowledge. This has now given him another Shameful Display target, which I think might be a mistake, potentially. Um, we could see another for Shame here to dishonor her again. Yeah, so while Clarity of Purpose is active, his only option with for Shame is to dishonor her. He's only played two for Shame, right? No, he's played all three. Never mind. Uh, we see a court games, though, and this is going to honor the shoju. So he's winning, but not breaking. Honestly, Sandy Bell says, honestly, at this point, I'd lose the air conflict if he wants to win it that bad. Yeah, I think I agree, although playing court games there is also good to dishonor shoju again. That's fine. Uh, see if he has another card. He does not have another card. So he is going to win that. And now his board is looking pretty scary compared to this one by Ushi Liar. Wouldn't use any real cards, certainly, yeah. I mean, Dishonoring Shoju is going to have a continuing effect since he has two fate. So I think that's. I think playing that court games is fine. Did he use Shoju? Shoju is clouded, so he was, yeah, not able to use that. What's the fourth province? Um, there's one face down for both players. I'm not sure which player you're talking about. Scorp's Fourth. Scorp's Fourth Province is a uh, secret cache. We've already seen Pilgrimage, Shameful, and Meditations. So he has secret cache here, and then entrenched position, entrenched position under the stronghold. Those are the last two provinces he's running. Yeah, now he goes for the win on Stronghold. Yeah, so he's going to attack this Ooh, with both characters. Yeah, I guess that's fair. Um, political. I might have... I'm, I'm not sure if it was correct to leave the Prodigy at home or not. He is going to get to use that secret cash. Playing around Kachiko, maybe, yeah. Potentially. But Kachiko... This is his political conflict, so Kachiko would just be able to send the Prodigy home. And there's the Fate Worse Than Death on Prodigy. Ooh, he had the censure. Very nice censure there. That was a very risky fate worse than death if the Scorpion player did not have his last Forged Edict. Because there was... 
he had six cards in hand, six cards in deck with one sentry, so there was a 50-50 chance he had the sentry in hand there, pretty much. Um, and that is going to mean a break on secret cash. The liar gets bowed, the prodigy unbows from the her ability. Yeah, so things are looking pretty good for Phoenix now. He's definitely turned this around. Um, he's going to go in with his military attack at the stronghold. He won't be able to break here because this is entrenched position. I don't think there's any way he breaks an entrenched position here. Uh, but he will get this Earth Ring. And that will mean an honor loss. Ooh. Assass assassination, not really the card you want to see there, with only four on our left, but he will get to draw a card as well. And now we're going into this next turn with a Dishonored Clouded Shouju, and these two pretty strong characters on Phoenix's side, and he's going to discard his whole province row, trying to find... He does not find um, Kanjo District, unfortunately. He does find Tadaka, which is going to turn off pretty much every event for Scorpion, I think, at this point. Also, could play Atsuko and go for... No, he spent his fate on Tadaka, so now he can't. Uh, he could play the Solemn Scholar still. Yeah, this Tadaka does mean that he doesn't have to worry about, like, pretty much any event here. Um, the only events Scorpion can now play are... He can't play five fires because he doesn't have a Shugenja, unless he has one in his hand. But he's already played both... Yeah, he doesn't have one in his hand because he's already played both Seekers. Um... Yeah, he can use... Master Gise Toshi to prevent any non spell events anyway, so. That's true, yeah, so he doesn't even really need Tadaka. Yeah, I think I would have gone Atsuko there. And just done a big void conflict. That seems pretty good. The other thing is Tadaka is more military than political, and you're... Mm, I guess he might just do a military attack, since Scorpion has a lot more political skill on board. He does have the Tattooed Wanderer anyway, though. Yeah, we'll see. Um, he's going to bid two there. Might have been... Actually, I'm not 100% sure why he bids two. Uh, we have Master of Gise Toshi used on the Water Ring. Prevent Swim, yeah, but, I mean, to play Swim, he would have to dishonor one of these characters first, and he's not going to be able to play, uh, has he played a court games yet? Yeah, he has, so he's not going to be able to play court games, he's not going to be able to play Way of the Scorpion, unless he has... Oh, he played a Shugenja, so he could have, uh, let's see, he had a favorable ground, so lots happening here. The other thing is, if Scorpion had his maze in hand, he could just enable, I can, I can swim anyway. Um, 
not going to be able to play either of those this conflict because of the master. We see entrenched position is breaking. This is a political conflict. Ooh, there's the Kachiko, one fate. And immediately clouded. He can plus three from SS. Yeah, he does have supernatural storms here. With this Kashiko now, I'm not sure if that will be enough though. He needs six more skill to break. Yeah, so he's not going to have it this turn. Uh, that will mean that the Prodigy unbows since that was the watering. So he is going to be able to void off this Kachiko. So things are still looking good going into the next turn here. Yeah, plus four from Atsuko, plus four. Yeah, you just play Atsuko and the Solemn Scholar, and then you have just a ton of skill. It might not end up mattering here, um, because, like I said, he is going to get to void off this Kachiko here. So he'll still have the better board going into next turn. He is running low on honor. He's going to Karmic Twist... Uh, from the Prodigy onto his Master of Gisei Toshi to keep her around. It kind of feels bad, but it is the right play. You're even going to get this fate back because of the Embrace of the Void. She's more than plus four, minus one to each enemy character too. Yeah, the Atsuko would have been really big there. Um, she would be plus four, and then he ended up with, what, three characters? So minus three, so essentially plus seven. And then four more from the Supernatural Storm. Could have put the Wander on Tadaka too. Yeah, I think definitely putting the Wander on Tadaka would have been better. Although maybe he wanted to get a Covert on his second conflict and wasn't sure whether he would need it or not. Hard to say there. Let's see. There's a Keeper Initiate. I was wondering where those Keeper Initiates were. I wasn't sure if he still ran them or not. Uh, we see a Yojimbo with no fate. So unfortunately, Scorpion is first player this turn. Um, I feel like you played Tsuki here. So he could actually, if he really wanted to, he could play the Prodigy with some fate and then do another twist to keep this Master of Gisei Toshi alive. That would not be terrible, or even if he gets the Keeper Initiate into play, he could just twist that one fate. Um, oh man, I want to see that game Kingsley streaming. Uh, plays Prodigy No Fate. Interesting. So just going all in on the buying a ton of characters with No Fate here.
Master of Gisei Toshi used on the Earth Ring. So his stronghold has a ton of spells to play right now. He could play Clarity, he could play Supernatural Storm against the Waves, Karmic Twist. Well, Karmic Twist wouldn't do anything, but uh, Benton's Touch. Lots of stuff there. Hmm. We're seeing an attack into Shameful Display with the Heroe. That's interesting. Nope. Switching to Meditations. Yeah, this is kind of awkward either way. Um, you put one fate on the Heroe, so going into Meditations would just make that into a mistake. You should have then just put zero fate on him. Um, Um, we see a... Ooh, he did attack Meditations with the Heroe. Uh, he could Favorable Ground home here. Can Earth Rings draw be used on any player? No. If, if you win the Earth Ring as the attacker... You have to draw the card, and your opponent has to discard the card. You can't force them to draw a card, if that's what you're asking. Um, we see Heroe pull in the Yojimbo. Uh, perhaps he will now favorable ground home. Perhaps. He's not going to win this conflict. A potential problem is... He just passes, okay. A potential problem is he has very little military skill here. Yeah, this is looking kind of bad for Scorpion. Um, if it's a political attack... 3, 6... She's 6 as well, so 12, 13... To 5... Yeah, I think Phoenix actually just wins here. Guaranteed way to win is to attack water now with one to two characters. Um, you can just attack water with everyone. Or Earth, sorry. I think he should attack Earth because he used Master of Gisetoshi's ability on Earth. Wait. Hold on. Am I in the right turn? Yeah, he did use it on Earth. Because Scorpion currently can't play any cards, except for characters. 
Mm, I guess he could have a Kachiko, couldn't he? Yeah, so that wouldn't be a guaranteed win. Never mind. Forgot about characters existing. Yeah, this is a tough, tough game. He has Tadaka, so it doesn't matter what rank he used GT on. Um, it's not entirely true. There is still a one times Maze of Illusion in Scorpion's deck. He can dishonor Scorpion now. Yeah, it definitely looks like that is a possibility. Um, Watering is going to... I guess he just unbows the Ojumbo here. So Scorpion will need a conflict character. Maze is a spell, so GT doesn't turn it off. That's true. So yeah, it didn't didn't actually matter what he used it on. Um, Looks like we saw an against the waves on Tadaka, and we are now seeing an all-in attack here. He does have the Kachiko. Can he defend it? Unfortunately, Kachiko's ability will get cancelled if he uses it on anyone who is not the Ojimbo or the Initiate. And yeah, he is going to concede there. Yeah, not being able to play cards is a fun experience. I can relate to that. But yeah, I think that... Um, I mean, I think there, there definitely were a few mistakes from Phoenix earlier that game. But in the end, it ended up not mattering. I am I am kind of sad we didn't get to see Maze of Illusion. I haven't actually seen that card get played yet. Um, but anyway, that's going to be it for this game. Uh, congratulations, Evan, for winning. Um, I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up real quick here because I want to go and catch Kingsley's stream. He's currently streaming Toriadori versus... Who is the other player? Kibosh. That should be an interesting game. So yeah, uh, thanks everybody for watching, and it'll probably auto-host his stream, so maybe I'll see you guys over there.